Good morning, afternoon, and good evening, whatever time it is for you. I'm a cyclone. This is Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. And uh, let's see uh, how I did on my photo of the Class 166 DMOS unit from uh, the European Local Asset Pack. Let's see what we got here. Ah, brilliant. It's a little dark. I went ahead and backed the scenario up, as you can see, to uh, 750, and I did get the image of the train from that scenario. So, still not the best daylight. I mean, you still have a sunset at 10.15, for goodness sake. So, light is kind of weird in this route, apparently. But, uh, nonetheless, uh, obviously, a lot of the scenarios are during the day. I could have gone back to full during the day. But, uh, I just, I'll just i change it, but it sticks. It works for now. It works for me, for the time being. So, we have a Class 166 DMOS available in this scenario. And we're going to find out today just who shot Dr. Beachy. It's a parallel universe where Dr. Beaching and Apostas' modernization plan was never enacted. The Granfield branch survives into the 1990s. Take a look, late evening passenger service to Centerfield, calling all stations on route. Excellent. Let's get to work, shall we? So as you can see, we're getting going right away here because we don't have any message telling us what to do. So I don't really want to wait. Let's get in the cab. All right, so you can see we are taking this class 166 up to speed immediately. Now we are on our way to Grandfield. We do have a full stops run. You can see this is timetabled all the way to 1939. Uh, we're going to talk about one of these stops a little bit later here because uh, I've already given this scenario an attempt here. And let's just say that one of the stops is very buggy. All I'm going to say about that for now, passing under a bridge here, it looks like some kind of a road. We don't get to see this part of the route very often because we're coming from a uh, branch here. This is a siding, by the way. This is some kind of sidings on the uh, path to the main line. And this does not feel like a train track we should be taking at 30, but we're going to take it at 30. There you go. Minus 10 brakes, we're getting speed. Good job, brakes. Minus 30, we're getting speed. Good job, brakes. signal we have a warning for a 20 coming up so we're going to take heat of that and just take our speed off casually at this point there we are that'll do nicely I'm a little bit early on these slowdowns, so this might actually be bad for our stop. I didn't turn my headlights on, as you might know, so that was a mistake. You can't really tell anyway, so I don't really care too much. Yeah, you can't tell. You just can't tell they're on in this train. So if I, I didn't tell you anything you wouldn't know I didn't turn the headlights on. So there you go. I just voluntarily gave myself a ticket. Well done. It's like being pulled over by a cop and saying, No, sir, I wasn't going 40 over the limit. I was only going 30. Go! Oh. So that service over there is a Grandfield to Leicester oil train, and I'm slowing down too quickly. So let's uh, hold a little bit of speed coming in here so we can come to a stop. All right, arrival at Grandfield, and we're about to start our main journey, but we're gonna quickly change cab because we have the time to do so. So let's make sure our reverser is centered. We're going to move to the back cab and let's go ahead and open those doors, shall we? I'll see you for a quick look at the train here. Mm -hmm. 
Leaving Ranfield, we are on our way to what is probably the most broken and ill-conceived platform in the entire series. Call for help platform. First... So for some strange reason, the reason I say this is the most broken and uh, ill-conceived platform in the game is because I've already made three attempts to stop at this bloody platform. Uh, no, there's no blood on it. But I already made three attempts to stop here. First cab wouldn't work. Second cab wouldn't work. You have to put the third cab in. And there's also no graphics for the platform. So um, let's just say that you're not going to have a good time stopping at Culford Halt. And if there's any reason to turn this scenario into a standard scenario, this is the reason. Because you're going to have a hard time getting your stop in here, no matter how you slice it. So we, we now have a 30 speed limit. you got to be careful getting yourself up to 30 here, because it is easy to break that 30. I've only got a 70% throttle because it is a very small increase in speed. See the 45 up ahead? Our little one car platform is right after it. It's literally a one car platform and you have to get the last car in. It's just a stupid arrangement. Don't ask me why it's set up like this. And now you're asking me why it's set up like this. I don't know, don't ask. So yeah, I'm already in a bad mood for what was supposed to be a nice pleasant drive along the uh, Grandfield Branch, seven mile drive. I've already driven more than seven miles, can you tell? I'm a little grumpy. <laughs> lose that much speed this might actually be bad for the stop because we have to arrive by uh 1922 as you can see 1922-33 with the last car only in the platform so there's a really good chance you're going to miss this stop if you uh, don't judge your brake correctly because the wouldn't you know the passenger who's requesting a stop is in the last car Just insane. Okay, so we're gonna have to start slowing down here. You can see the crossing up ahead. You don't see the platform. Like I said, the graphics don't load for this platform. Don't expect them. I slowed down to 15 just to give myself a chance here. There's people. So we're going to try and stop smack down in the middle of this crossing because that's what we have to do. Such an exact, there we go, good enough, good enough, go, go, stop, 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 stop. And doors are going to somehow be open at the Culford Halt. So I'm not going to go to a screenshot because we don't have a platform, it doesn't make sense, but take a look. This is the platform right here. This is literally the platform. That's the front of the train now. Cars are stopping, wondering why this train is stopped in the middle of the crossing. I can't do anything about it, guys. Sorry, you're just going to have to live. Deal with it for a minute. I will be on your way in just a moment. I have to do my stop this way or I cannot register it. So, future cyclone here. I'm just interrupting this uh, video from in the past cyclone, also a grumpy cyclone, uh, to give you a preview of what this station actually does look like. A uh, little disclaimer, I'll talk about this in, a, in the Class 111 video you're going to see in the future. But you need to actually turn the scenery density to maximum to get this station to show up. Also, something going on at the next station as well. It doesn't drop unless you put the scenery density on maximum. And you're also going to see better scenery quality in the distance starting around that point as well. So keep an eye tuned for the next set of scenarios. You will see uh, better looking videos on this route. But for now, let's take a quick look at what the station should look like. So this image shows you, as you cross the crossing heading towards Granfield, what the Culford Halt should look like. This is the Culford Halt platform. This is, again, a still image. Uh, I'm not going to go to the uh, trouble of going through it right now, but when the Class 111 video is posted, you will see this uh, in as it goes by. I don't know if we have another camera view or not. We'll see when it gets up there. You can also see a guy at the shed across the street. That was not there either. So all of that 
is missing if you don't, do not put the scenery density on maximum. So put that scenery density on maximum, kids. Even if you're playing medium or low quality, put the scenery density up and you're going to get all the uh, graphics with the stations, things like that. So uh, that's going to at least allow you to see everything, even if it's even if it might be the occasional tiny bit of lag for you, at least you're going to get to see everything. So put that scenery density up, guys. Back to the video. There it is. Off we go. And time for another announcement, I would say, wouldn't you? Yeah, let's get one. Or maybe not, we're getting no announcement, okay. Uh, I guess for a halt, it's not programmed, I have no idea. In any case, leaving Culford Hall, our next stop is Fen Hill, platform one. This one is a proper platform, so we'll put in a new save game at the uh, Fen Hill platform. We also have a speed limit of 45, so we can get this thing uh, cranked up to some kind of power here, which is nice. So on our head, you can see Fen Hill coming up in the distance. We do have, as you can see, a 25 before that platform. So we are gonna have to slow down, but we're doing okay for right now at 43.3. Our time for the stop is 1926.35. So we have about a minute and 40 seconds to make this stop. So this is a very, very tight timetable. Makes me question if someone tested this timetable uh, before the scenario was actually released. This is a uh, route that was, uh, by the way, I should be careful when I say that. This was a scenario that was released with the route on UK train sim. So this is not a DTG original scenario. The timetable is included in the UK train sim version of the route. The scenarios that were not included in the route and that I had to get extra were the ones that actually include the three trains that come with the route. Nowadays, if you're lucky to get those scenarios like I was, you have to have those trains to drive them or swap some stock like I did in one case. I need to start slowing this train down in a hurry now. I didn't slow down enough. Whoops. Oh, I'm speeding. Yeah, I was slowing down anyway, so it didn't bother me too much. But I was just speeding out of the junction. We need to get in and get this stop done quickly. So I'm trying to maintain the 15 here for a moment. You can see the Satterfield to Grandfield service here. Watching us. It's getting out of its way. So we got full brakes on now. We're going to bring this sucker to a stop. Before the signal, preferably. And we're going to open the doors at Fen Hill, platform one. Hill. Our next stop is Inchcombe. Announcement this time, I think. Fenhill level crossing, as I'm going to call it because we don't have a name for it. I uh, sped up too quickly again. Out airing at 45, I thought I had enough space to get in the 45, but no, I uh, was a little too quick there apparently. Whoops. Again, doesn't bother me. We need, with this kind of a tight timetable, having the extra time on the speeding might actually help anyway. By the way, one more thing. There are graphics that are not loading in everywhere across the route. The Fen Hill ticket office back at Fen Hill. 
Uh, I ha look at, looked at the other side of the platform because I was going to get a shot from that side of the platform. Then I noticed that the path into the ticket office uh, beyond the stairs had not loaded. So you basically had a ticket office door opening onto air. Uh, it kind of brings new meaning to the phrase, mind the gap. So I just went with the normal train shot, obviously, as you noticed. So here is Inchcomb coming up, and here is our speed limit coming up at 45. So uh, we're going to drop it back down a little bit there, as you saw, and we have our arm in the air, so we're good. That is a distant signal, so the next signal is definitely a green signal. We are cleared into Inchcomb Platform 1. You may remember in the Oxford Paddington scenario, I had these stops for this train set to a science. I don't have them set so much to science on this one because uh, needless to say, A, I haven't driven this train for a while, and B, uh, let's just say that the platforms are smaller. So it's kind of, well, I think some of the uh, Oxford Paddington ones are small too, but they seem smaller on this train. So uh, on this route, I should say. They just seem that way, even if they're not. So. And just to confirm, there's our check mark from the last task. We have basically this minute to make the stop, so we have to basically get in and come to a stop as quickly as we can. You see, stop as quickly as you can. That's how it works. We're supposed to be there now. Stop, please. Would like to stop, please. That'll do. Doors are open at Inchcomb Platform 1. A little early on that horn, apparently. Leaving Inchcomb. Our next stop is Elm Hall, Elm Tree Halt platform. Thank you. Okay. So only now we're reaching 20 miles per hour and only now we're actually gaining a decent amount of speed as we go here. So, uh, Elm Tree Halt is right there as well. Our stop time, as you can see, is 19.32. We have to be there, well, in 13 seconds. We have till the end of the minute, so we actually have te technically some leeway here because we're going 45 as well. So we're going to just keep our speed at that range. Looks like we're going to have to do this stop pretty darn accurately. I don't remember if I put down a save game at that station or not. This will be an adventure. Yeah, I think we're going to be late, guys. What do you think? Get your guesses in now. We can get the train stopped on time. We're just going to open those doors. This train is not going to stop on time, I don't think. Brakes. Get the doors open quickly. If there's any chance of being on time, we have to open the doors now, but I don't think we're going to be on time. I think this is going to count as late, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing I can do about it. Let's take a look at the train. Let's take a look here. I'm on time. Okay, we're gonna go with it. I'm on time. So we're leaving uh, Elm Tree Hall. Our final stop is Setterfield, platform four. So if 
I had tried to get the full train on that platform, I might have actually been marked as late there. So thankfully I just got what I did there. We have a 30 mile per hour speed limit coming up. I'm gonna take advantage of a little bit of extra speed while I can. Only got three tenths of a mile to do it. Our stop, by the way, is in about a mile and three quarters. Doing a little bit of a casual slowdown here to get back to 30. There we go, perfect. Our ETA is expected to be 1939.15, so we're gonna attempt to be five seconds early according to the ETA. Yeah, we'll blow that up, I'm sure. So we have a green signal on the lower jump, on the lower uh, track there, which means we're gonna take this side. down to 25 in time. We're going to have a 40 coming up that we can apparently take advantage of. Okay, that was the most interesting routing decision ever. I mean, look at this. We left the track to the left to follow the track to the left and go back on the same track. Why did we do that? The routing in this game by the dispatcher is just questionable sometimes. That's all I'm going to say. Let's uh, gain some speed here. We did gain some time on our ETA, interestingly. I think we have no problem being on time for this stop. So we're going to just keep going here. You can see center field coming up on the HUD in the distance. We're probably going to see the end of track uh, indicator here as well coming up because uh, the track will end for us up ahead. There's no track in the game at all for this uh, route beyond here. The city or community of center field popping in the distance there, you might have noticed. So we do have a 25 coming up. Why am I therefore increasing speed? I don't know. I do things. Our ETA has been cut back by another minute now, which is excellent for us. We're going to be early without question on this. So I should probably get down to uh, 25 and make sure we're not speeding, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should make sure I'm not speeding. Oh, I'm definitely going to be speeding. Wow. Okay, we got it down. We are down to a low enough level that I am confident in in being out of the speed limit, basically. Not much else to be confident on here. So we're gonna go just a wee bit further here, then we're gonna get our train on that platform and make our stop. There's the anti track indicator I mentioned earlier. Which means we're gonna probably have a red signal at the end of the platform. Translation, do not overshoot. Looks like the uh, far track over there on the left has a green where that train is hanging out. There's no uh, label on it, but there's a train hanging out there. We can stop basically any time now. Let's see where the game decides it wants to let us stop in this platform and open the doors, shall we? Let's pull up to the uh, door here, to the building area. Nice clock outside. Kuju quality graphics, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just letting the train slow down on its own gradually at this point. And one. Once I'm fully stopped, I will apply full brakes. There we go. So, doors are open. It worked at center field. Let's look at our train as we finish. As another lovely day ends here at center field, we're a couple minutes early, well, about a minute or so early for our stop. And we have some happy passengers. So, uh, this train is either going to continue or go back in the other direction. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but we're done. We don't care about the other direction. We're done. And I probably didn't have my headlights on during that journey. I just realized it. So there you go. They don't work on the train anyway, so.
you can't really see any with them. In any case, uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for the uh, game to catch up. We're looking at a train with passengers on it in a siding. That is uh, interesting on the front of the screen here. Our train is in the back of the screen, next to the station, the platform. And, oh, there are the headlights. Yeah, headlights, they work on the visual, but they don't work inside the cab. So we're done. That's you done for the night. Nice driving. Again, note to self, this is a scenario that normally takes place after 10 o'clock. So this is basically the final drive of the night. I uh, bumped the time back for, uh, you know, viewability purposes. So you can actually see what uh, what the heck is going on and what graphics are all missing on the stops here. Uh, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this. We're going to keep going... Uh, along this route in some begrudging fashion, but I'm going to at some point upgrade the route, I think, to the workshop version. I might do that for the uh, career scenarios. I might, I think I might just leave, keep going on these uh, UKTS scenarios for the uh, other two, um, for the um, other Black 5 scenario, the other two Black 5 scenarios. I might just keep it going on this for those two scenarios. And then I might upgrade the route and put the uh, so-called career scenarios, the uh, ones that use the O2, the Oh, F8F and the um, 111. Might put them on the workshop version because it's supposed to be updated. But in any case, yeah, I mean, again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you uh, stay tuned for the next video in this series. Probably going to be tomorrow. But if it is on our playlist now, you may see it coming up very shortly. I'm Cyclone. Make sure you come back for that. It will start in three, two, one.